So today we're going to review a solar generator and you guys know how much I hate these things. Pretty much all of them are rebranded junk, so let's test this one out. Check it out, we've got a 500 watt inverter, we have a 540 watt hour battery, and this is created by Aimtom, but they just relabel it. Rockpels has the same exact one, and I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. And then we have USB, quick charge, 2.4, type C, all the typical stuff. It's just like a Rockpels, but bigger. And this is what the tinier Rockpels looks like. So it has a different screen now and a larger battery and larger inverter, but let's check to see if the 12 volt is actually regulated because it wasn't regulated on this model. And we also have a different screen. Actually, I know a solar generator with this exact same screen. So a company actually sent this out to me a few months ago and I never reviewed it because I didn't like it. But look it, they're using the same screen. All of these companies are buying parts from the same places and just throwing them around. I mean, these are all relabeled units, Rog Pals, Aim Tom, and this one isn't even labeled at all, so you buy it direct from the manufacturer. And as much as I hate rebranded Chinese junk, I must admit that I do like the Rock Pals. The 12 volt output that's not regulated is like the only downside. This is like the fastest charging one, and for the price, it's really good. So this one actually might be good, so we still should test it. But whoever is creating this one is definitely making this one because just the case and the vents and the receptacles, everything's very similar here. So the first thing we wanna test is the 12 volt output. See how this one's 10.6 or 10.5? That's not good. Wait, this one's 12.9, what? Is this regulated? You guys, I think they actually fixed the problem. We need to actually put this at a lower state of charge and see if it's regulated. This is so cool. So to discharge this battery to check if this is regulated, we're also gonna do a load test. So we're gonna add 500 watts and see what happens. 400 watts, 490 watts. Okay, I think this is as close as I can get it to 500. Let's see what happens. And on the screen, it actually tells you how much power the inverter is using. So it says 494 to like 505 watts and it tells you how long you can power this load for. But it doesn't seem very accurate. These numbers are jumping around a lot over here. Oh, guess what guys? This state of charge indicator, I think it's going by voltage because it's jumping around a lot. If it was actual coulomb meter, it would tell us the exact state of charge at a percent and leave it. So that's a downside. It's using voltage for determining state of charge. But it is running the load pretty well, so let's see how long it runs it for. And because this battery is under a load, we should test the output of the 12 volt receptacle to see if it's dropped. We have 11.2 volts. That's a bummer. I guess it's not regulated. I don't know why the voltage was so high a second ago, because the nominal battery pack voltage of this unit is lower than the voltage we got. It might be one of those regulators, I forgot which one it is, but um, the input will determine the output, and if the input is low because this battery is drawing power from the, for the inverter, um, the regulated output will decrease. So we'll find out in a second when we turn the inverter off. And even though this has more... No way. Are you kidding me? So we pulled a 500 watt load for like 10 minutes and it cut off. <laughs> That is pathetic. So I am not impressed, actually. That's a bummer. Oh, and it has a light, who cares? So it says here that the solar panel will take 10 to 12 hours to fully charge with a 100 watt solar panel. That's pretty much the same speed as the old Rock Pals. So like, why would I wanna buy this when this thing can charge at the same rate and it's cheaper? And it says that you can connect up to 200 watts of solar panel power, but it says over here that it's faster to charge with the car ports. And it also takes the same amount of time whether you use a car charger or a wall outlet. So let's just do a charge test with the wall outlet and see how many watts we can actually push into this thing. And the charger does 24 volts at 3.75 amps. So honestly, it's practically the same charge rate for an AC adapter as this one. And it doesn't even tell you how many watts are going in. That's a bummer. The Jackery does and it's the same price. And another downside is you have to actually have the power supply. On the rock pals, you plug it in directly. So at the receptacle, it's doing 100 watts, and with losses, I would say 90 watts. So it's not that great. So I can tell you guys right now, I don't like it. If you wanna buy this size generator, you need to buy the Jackery. It has a regulated output. It doesn't have all the other fancy features or a little light, but who cares? It also doesn't have an MPPT, but this one charges just as slow. So who cares about MPPT? you can't even use all that power. 
But guess what? We have new generators coming in the mail and I have the tracking codes and I think they're gonna be amazing. So yeah, stay tuned for new videos. This one sucks, but there's gonna be other ones that I don't think will suck. I, I can't believe that I like the Rock Pels more than this one. They should have upgraded a lot of stuff on here and they didn't. In this new screen, a voltage sensitive state of charge? Like, well, are you kidding me? It should have a coolant meter. But we have new generators coming to review that are way better than all of these. So stay tuned in the next week, we should have them. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon and thank you so much for watching. I would not buy this in a million years. All right, bye. <laughs>